Hello everyone, I'm Apostolis from Eurovision Fan. I'm Pascalis from Eurovision Fan. And I'm Lazara. Today with us, Mozou Lazara Saba. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So, how's your uh, Eurovision journey so far? Uh, it's great. It's great. I think we did um, the hardest thing, which was the song. We, yeah, we, it, it was qu quite um, an adventure. But now I think uh, the, the, the good and fun stuff are going to begin. So let's talk at first about your song. Uh, what is the message behind your song? Because the song is in French. So for those who may not understand the meaning, Tell us more about the meaning of the song. The meaning, it's um, it's how to find yourself through a hardship and um, take back control in your life uh, and your destiny. But for me, when I did that, I had to love myself enough to do it and to take some risk in my life to achieve my goals, my dreams. So it's just about um, being strong and uh, leaving all the bullshit in your life, if I may say, and the bad people too. And just, uh, you know, go promise yourself and to and keep your promises to yourself that you made and not waiting on the other people who made you false promises. So, Leza, how did you choose uh, this song? Uh, did you have other options to go with, or it was just this song? Um, it was just this song. So when they um, asked me uh, to represent France, I didn't have uh, a song for Eurovision. I have plenty, but for my next album. But um, I wanted something special. I, I needed to speak about some hardship that I was at the moment. And it was obviously <laughs> une évidence. So I, I, I wrote this song with uh, one of my great uh, co-writer, Bini Adam, and, um, and Banks and Ranks, who we did many, many songs on my first album. But yeah, it was made for your vision uh, at that point. So the song was focused on Eurovision. You made the song about the contest. I made the song uh, for the contest, but about what everybody is living. <laughs> of course. Uh, could you tell us about uh, your inspirations? For, for example, uh, which artists are you inspired by to create your music? Well, for me, it's many different uh, artists. I learn how to sing with a uh, great French singer and great uh, singer from America, like Billie Holiday, Frank Sinatra, Edith Piaf, Dalida, you know, all those great um, artists. And uh, in my music, you can you can hear it. You can hear like old melodies. But, you know, I, I grew up in, in Canada and we have a lot of, you know, R&B, hip hop, pop. So I always integrated in my music, as you see. But I love to to make music that can be old school but timeless and also the thing that i love about your entry is that it's so friends but also worldwide yeah <laughs> it has something friends on the song but at the same time it's so current and radio friendly in the whole europe but i guess that's the beauty of uh you know, and and it, rep and it represent our the new the new generation. You know, we travel a lot. We from different background. You know, I'm from uh, my parents are from Morocco, born and raised in Canada, and now I live in France. So you can feel it and hear it in my music. Of course, we can feel it. <laughs> we can feel it <laughs> through your song. Uh, so let's talk about the Eurovision on May. Do you have also starting to plan? the staging presentation of your song yeah we did we did and uh we had many ideas but for me it was really very, very important to stay um simple class simple but um to shock a little bit people and i think uh we're going to be able to do that but it's going to be a big 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 show i can't wait to be there i'm really stressed but uh, 
I can wait. <laughs> Will it be similar to your music video? For example, uh, you alone on stage with the microphone or will there be anything more? It's just going to be me. Always. <laughs> all that we need. All that we need. Yeah, sometimes it's all that we need. I hope it's going to be enough. <laughs> Uh, have you heard the other entries of this year contest? Do you have maybe a favorite song among the other contestants? Uh, I heard. Uh, I think I heard almost everybody. I think everybody's great. It's a lot of different style, and uh, yeah, I, I I don't like to say I have a favorite one, but there's one song that I quite listen a little bit. It's uh, the the song "Stay." It's, it's something about the melody that is very catchy for me. But uh, every, every, every song is incredible. Okay. So uh, which is your favorite French Eurovision entry of all time? Well, I think everybody knows now it's uh, L'Enfant et l'Oiseau from Marie Miriam and it was the last time France uh, won. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's the song my mother used to sing to me when I was a child. So it's very dear to me. And um, yeah, that's my connection, I think, with the Eurovision. Nice choice. And before we come to an end, uh, we would love to have a message to Eurovision fan from you and to all the Greek fans watching. And also if you can sing us just a small part of your song before we close the interview. Okay. <laughs> well, um, first thing first, th thank you. Thank you for everything. And um, I know I have a lot of message from, uh, from the Eurovision fans from Greece. And uh, I have a special connection uh, with Greece. It's uh, in my family too. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see them uh, at Liverpool. And uh, yeah, here we go. I'm going to sing a little bit of my song. Évidemment, ces belles promesses que j'entends, ce n'est que du vent, évidemment. Car après le beau temps vient la pluie. Yes, gonna believe. Here we go. <laughs> Good luck. We wish you the best of luck in Liverpool, and hopefully we can meet there and do yeah. the same in Liverpool. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. We would also love to see you in Greece. <laughs> see you in Greece.